Tony Roten wants to talk mess about the AJ-42 led Hornets? But here's the main story. We just traded Eric Gordon for Lou Williams and Devin Harris. What was the logic to that? And to make things even better, whoever wins this game takes control of the Southwest. All right, fellas. Let's get after it. Rudy Gay is ready for an off game. It's time to lock him down. He laid it out there. Very simple terms conveyed to his teammates. Defensively, they've got to get a job done. It's a Western Conference battle at the FedEx Forum in downtown Memphis as the Grizzlies look to work the home court advantage. Welcome, folks, and thanks for sharing part of your weekend with us here at 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan. I'm with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. And State Farm's starting lineups. These are the 10 players starting the game. One of the guys we'll be watching out for today, Zach Randolph. You know, you look at Randolph, guys, and what stands out is the consistency. He's been a 20 and 10 guy for most of his career, so dependable. And, you know, there aren't many guys like that in the league. But with Randolph, you know what you're getting every night. Well, of course, his offensive rebounding part is What is up, YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy, Mims, and I'm coming at you guys with another AJ42 My Career video. This is my My Career with my athletic small forward. And today I'm facing the Memphis Grizzlies to try to control the Southwest Division. And, you know, we really want to get this playoff spot over here. I think they're one better than us. They're one higher than us in the entire Western Conference. So this game would be pivotal to win. So over here, I'm driving it in. No good. I get that pull-up J to go in front of Rudy Gay. And everything's looking really good so far. Here's a great weapon I love using. And that's the Ryan Anderson screen and pop and it leads me to getting a foul over there and I did improve my free throw and I kind of like this free throw shot kind of reminds me of John Wall's free throw shot and I remember that because I used to create the guy in NBA 2K10 and just use him I'm a huge Jay Wizzy fan and speaking of John Wall I'm definitely gonna make a video based off of him but look at this alley-oop ah. Man, Hakeem Warwick, too bad he got traded to the Bobcats. But, yeah, I'm going to make another My Team Stock Show video next. So let me know in the comment section if you would like to see it. And Rudy Gay just coming at me. This is starting to look like another one of those small forward versus small forward battles. You remember when I faced Carmelo Anthony in my last video. And if you didn't get a chance to see that, I'll put the link in the description. But yeah, it's starting to look a lot like that. And I'm not sure if I could score as much. But look at this Zebo zombie. I got to take advantage of this. I'm going to go the other way, break his ankles, and dunk it nasty. Take it to the rim. Let's look at a replay. Look, Zebo's lost. He has no idea where he's going. I <laughs> should have alley-ooped that one to myself. Should I have? Eh. But here we go, same game, ISO, and I'm trying to find a basket. I'm being double teamed, meaning someone's open. Ryan Anderson just did not feel like driving that one. But over here, Lou Williams missing a shot. I get the rebound, and I put the bucket back up. Let's see if Lou Williams could replace Eric Gordon, because he's going to have a lot of comparisons. Our bench does get stronger with that trade. You know, we now we have Devin Harris coming off of the bench, along with, I think, Robin Lopez once Anthony Davis recovers from his injury. Probably going to run with Al Farouk Aminu, you know, Xavier Henry, Robin Lopez, Hakeem Warwick. That's a mean bench unit. And look at Hakeem Warwick dunking it like his name is Blake Griffin or Amari Stoudemire. Look at that nasty jam. I'm just throwing up dimes, looking like my point guard, BJ3. And a lot of you guys are wondering, why am I posting so many of those videos lately? And oh my god, how did Rudy Gay make that perfectly contested shot? I have no idea. But the reason I'm posting a lot of point guard videos is I've been seeing a lot of the all-star weekend glitch so until a patch comes out I don't want AJ 42 to do the slam dunk contest or the three-point contest I just can't risk giving up AJ 42's rookie season just like that but once that patch comes out I'm gonna try to make it all the way to the Hall of Fame 
with my small forward. I know no one's done it before, so it'll be a lot of fun if I could get it done. And look, time's running out. Rivers gives it to me at the buzzer. Yes, sir. Look at that fist pump like I'm Pauly D from the Jersey Shore. And yeah, nobody references that show anymore. Thank goodness. Awful show. Influencing America for the worst. Get out of here. <laughs> Over here, you can see Austin Rivers is bringing the ball up. And that boy is mean. But it's like, it's ridiculous how nice Austin Rivers has been. I just came back from the Clipper Hornets game. And damn, Austin Rivers. Jesus. But anyways, back to the commentary. Austin Rivers gets double teamed. Who's going to bail him out? It's going to be, yeah. Who's going to bail him out? It's going to be AJ42 trying to cross him over. Is that Hamid Haddadi? Get out of here, man. Go back to defending the backcourt. So here comes Mike Conley Jr. Brings the ball up court. Gives it to Tony Allen. And this guy's been guarding me the entire game. Really? Dang. And I've been scoring. Well, I scored 16 points. That's kind of below my average. But over here, I get a mean drive. Look at that. That was like LeBron James-esque type of drive over there. Monty is so proud. Sweet baby Monte Monte. But over here, I get my free throws in, and I move to power forward. And I love abusing this because usually power forwards have terrible on-ball defense. And I just exploit that with my above-average ball handling with the small forward. You know, small forwards aren't usually so amazing handling the ball. But look at this. They leave my boy Devin Harris wide open. You know, he's been slumping a little bit lately, but he could make that easy. So here comes Jared Bayless, and you know Memphis has a nice bench as well. I think they have the best bench in the league currently. So, and that's a surprise too, you know, losing OJ Mayo and all. And I don't know what kind of play they're trying to run over here. They give it to Wayne Ellington. I tip the ball. Quincy Pondexter returns it, gives it to Bayless, and Bayless makes that shot. You know, there was a time I really paid more attention to Jared Bayless than Skip Bayless. Now it's the other way around. <laughs> But look at that acrobatic type of layup. And speaking about acrobats, what's the next stat, I mean signature skill, you think AJ42 should get? Because I've been thinking of getting finisher or closer, I mean, because, and wow, that was a very weak layup. Because Eric Gordon used to be our closer and now he's gone. And I'm not sure if Lou Williams could close games. And look at that block by AJ42. Xavier Henry giving it to me. I'm throwing a deep alley-oop to Devin Harris. Why not? <laughs> you know, anything's possible in the land of Mims 277. So we're going to throw those alley-oops to Devin Harris. As unrealistic as that may seem. Nah, I'm kidding. I thought that was Xavier Henry. That's the only reason I did it at that time. So over here, I'm getting double teamed. And yes, Austin Rivers is a kind of an athlete. He could dunk it nasty, believe it or not. So I give to my boy Austin Rivers, Doc Jr. Man, that's what I'm going to start calling him from now on. Doc Jr. dunks it beautifully. And you can see I'm having a lot of trouble driving into the basket, getting the easy layup or dunk, but I'm making up for it with my shot and traffic abilities. So here comes Lou Williams, gives it to me, and I have no idea how I got that to go or why it went in, but I'm not really complaining. So here comes Lou Williams, gives it to AJ42, AJ42 drives it in, and the finisher attribute delivers once again. You know, at some point I kind of got annoyed by me easily being able to make these shots, and I play on a tough difficulty too, I play on Hall of Fame. And the fact that I'm able to make these shots it just shows how OP the signature skills could be. And I hope the patch addresses that. Like, look at this. Easy. I don't even think I hop stepped that time, did I? Well, maybe I did. But still, easy. 30 points, 4 rebounds. And is that 6 assists? I think so. Make that 7 assists. I'll take that. Thank you very much. And Al Farouk Aminu's been looking nice, man. I saw him tonight. And he has improved crazily ever since leaving uh, Los Angeles the Clippers who originally drafted him number eight and let me tell you why I think this because originally he was very raw in Los Angeles he wasn't able to do much and you know my boy D Coop is a huge fan of the New Orleans Hornets as Mike Conley gets that 
alley-oop out of nowhere. But I thought that he was just being biased and all that. Until I saw him tonight, he's really improved. So it's nice to see some players filling their potential. And you can see over here, I get another shot to go. It's a foul and one. And we're starting to put this game a little bit out of reach. You know, it's almost, well, if I make this shot, we're going to be leading by 20 points. And yeah, we're up by 20 points. And coach, I think it's time you rest me. Like, I don't want to play this long. <laughs> you know, you're just giving Mims more material to edit. <laughs> Nah, I'm just messing. But here comes Jeremy Lin. Gives it to AJ42. Behind the back move. Crossing over. Nah, nothing. But they leave Jeremy Lin wide open. That's the reason I upgraded my pass, man. The newest issue of Dime Magazine just hit the shelves. On the cover, it's A-Train. He talks about managing the spotlight from his growing fan base. You know that boy AJ42 is marketable as hell. He's the next Blake Griffin or LeBron James in terms of marketability. But I really hope they change these plays, man. It's getting annoying just playing this way because I'm seeing clear out for A train and I don't get a clear out at all. There's no isolation or anything. And yes, sir, that's who we're playing next. That's the next AJ42 video. If you guys really want to see it, give this video a thumbs up. Give your boy Mims a little bit more motivation to go the extra mile for y'all. Well, not really motivation. I'm going to do it anyways. But it feels good getting thumbs up on my video. All right. Nice job, Hakeem Warwick. Hakeem Warwick has been beasting this game as he gets me another assist. And we're beasting. The score is 102 to 91. And Ryan Anderson gives it to Jeremy Lin, gives it to AJ42, and he just gets the nasty finishing dunk. And, you know, right now it's all a game to AJ42, just trying to fill up the stat sheet as much as he can so he could go and talk about it on Twitter. Here's another easy basket, and I love when they full court press me. You cannot full court press me, son, because every single time you're going to do that, I'm going to get an easy basket. If that went in, I would have quit, though. I seriously would have quit because <laughs> that shot should not have gone in. And you know how 2K13 is. I should have taken that shot, but I make up for it with that beautiful foul and one. Monty Williams thinks he found the next LeBron James right now. And this shot is going to be to get to 40 points. But of course I miss it. 2K has to troll me like that. So I got to break 40 another way. Is that Zebo? Is that Josh Selby? I can't really tell. Yeah, that's Zebo guarding me again. Uh, can I school him again? Yes, I can get another easy dunk. Zebo, you're going to be all over Sports Center tonight, man. Da 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 da. But at this point, we're up by 13. It kind of looks like we got this. I throw another alley oop to my man, Hakeem Warwick. He played amazing this game. I can't wait to see his stats. And, of course, Lou Williams. Let's see his effect on the game. If you like this video, you guys, be sure to thumbs it up. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Follow your boy on Twitter. I respond to all my tweets and like me on Facebook. Besides, that's your boy, Mims, and I'm out. coming up as your teammates talked about the key elements in the win tonight. How does it feel to hear that they had such positive things to say about your play? Man, those guys are just trying to butter me up to get me to pick up the dinner check next time. They know I've done it before, so they think if they can get me in a good mood and feeling all generous, then I'll do it again. I'm on to you fellas, though. Don't think I'm oblivious to your little plan. It's a good thing we won the game tonight. Otherwise, I'd be all over these guys for trying something like this, man. Next time on Andre James's career. And I know the type of person that he is. And he's the type of person that's, first of all, he's a workaholic, he's a gym rat. 
and he's constantly learning, trying to make himself better. So, you know, it's just a matter of him figuring out how he wants to go about closing games. And, um, you know, it, that's how I approach it. I don't look at it as, you know, he's shies away from the moment where he's scared of the moment. But you're an alpha personality. What, what, how, would you sure. just, is he an alpha or a beta? Well, I mean, he's generally a nice guy. 